it got to a point where I, I didn't know why I was so uncomfortable all the time. Um, just dealing with a lot of pain and, um, you know, anxiety and, and, you know, trying to get down to the bottom at, from, like, going to the doctors and, and just getting, like, you know, the diagnosis is thrown at me and, uh, you know, my, my immune system actually at a point was like not good. And what made you think of hypnosis? Someone mentioned it to me. Okay. Um, and it just, it, it was the one avenue that, that I didn't, I hadn't tried yet. And I, I didn't really know anything, but about it, but I, I, I was like, what, what can I lose? Right. You know, what can I lose? And so I, I gave it a shot, and um, I just automatically saw our results. You so the first of four sessions, I think you, um, we worked on my, my pain level at first, and I want to say maybe two or three days after, um, I automatically um, felt a, a less pain. Um, Part, and what you say in the hypnosis was feel the muscles un unraveling and loosening. And as you say that, I literally feel the muscles in my body letting go. Um, and now after, what well, has been like four or five weeks of, of listening to those, it's, it's happening um, w when I'm not listening to the hypnosis because that part of my brain has no, it knows that you know, it's okay to let go. It's okay. So you let go emotionally. I let go emotionally. Then it trickles down. And it trickles physically. down. Yeah. It's not complicated, is it? No, it's actually really simple. And I never thought of using a relaxation technique to handle my, my pain or my anxiety. Um, but it just makes sense because that's, you know, where, it, where for me, where it stemmed from. Right. The third hypnosis, um, I was able to get down to the root cause of um, what was causing the um, psychological and physical pain in my body. Um, and it was a, a traumatic um, memory from my childhood that I blocked out. Yeah. Um, now thinking back of it, I think that over the years after it happened, after I blocked it out of my memory because it was so painful, I developed behaviors around it to kind of cover of it within myself, um, which is, I think, hypnosis kind of helped me dive down to the bottom yeah. and all those behaviors unraveled and I got down to the root cause. Noticed myself just out of the blue doing things that I wouldn't normally do that like I, I, was, I was still caught up daily um, trying to manage my pain or you know, bring myself up, you know, and, and make myself like happy when I wasn't feeling, you know, yeah. it, it became a, a literally like full time job, right? Working overtime too at the same time. I never had time for me to right. do to do things that I was just like, all right, like I want to be creative or make things or do crafts or anything along those lines. And I just naturally noticed myself being like, you know, okay, like, let me, you know, go do some, you know, something that I enjoy and not think, oh, I'm doing this because I, I, I should, because it, it will make me happy. Right. And that's how I used to think of right. things. Um, now there's a flow to it. Now there's a flow. I just naturally do those things. And it's, it's just such a freeing feeling. Um, I'm just so thankful for it to finally be gone. Yeah. And to feel physically and mentally better. Yeah, yeah, and you know, sometimes I, I don't plug the earphones in, so it, my dog gets to listen to uh -huh. it too, and he gets hypnotized. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, we listen to that first thing in the morning, and then I get up and I go about my day, and if I feel like I need another session, if, you know, if you know, it was a stressful day or whatever, I, I, I just love it because I always have it with me. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can always take 20 minutes out of what I'm doing, where I am, and just listen and just relax. And it's just like, it feels good while I'm listening to it and it feels good after. And it's, and it's just really the best thing ever.